I wasn't ever like focused on getting the 80. I was focused on getting the next one or two. I would be thinking, how do I get the next one? You probably heard me talk about superannuation in there. No, we missed your. Oh, okay. If you're buying them in the individual or joint names, and the service body's stuck there, what other option is there? If a person technically, no financial advice, obviously, but if a person has technically superannuation, if someone has 60k and they've got 60k, that's 120. You have a borrowing capacity in super, which is different to what you can buy in your individual name. So if you got super of like 80 grand. Even if you got 40, you got 40. You can technically buy a property. That's another one. That's one more. If you got more than that, you could buy, you know, I've seen people with like 250K of super, they buy like three in super. So that's the next three. That's, that's one thing to get those three. But then it's like, what is the financial situation? I don't know right now with, you know, you know income, credit cards, debts, and all that kind of stuff. That's another situation. Is, is a property that you have, if one, is one of them holding back maybe? Don't know the yields but is one a really bad yield. If one's like a three or 4% yield and the other ones are better, then like that one, if you speak to a broker that has a lot of experience, they might, that might be holding you back to get more. So maybe it's selling one to then maybe being able to buy three or four more. So three over here, four over here, there's another seven. That's, and if you might, even if you sell one, that's still nine. So you only sell, only sell when I am stuck, if I need to, or I think of another creative way to do it, like buying to a super or a, you know, investing with someone else or whatever it is. Or getting a second job temporarily.